All right, guys, this is um, a tricky, and I tried to cut it with a saw. I'll show you the saw. So I tried to cut it with that. I got an electric saw. I do want to use it only because if I miss it, then I could go in here. Don't want to mess with the pipes, although the water's off anyway. Uh, so tricky end. What I'm going to do, I've resorted to this amazing technique, well, something I kind of come across, well, and most of you know about it, but basically using drill to cut through it as much as I can, and then the rest I'll finish off from the bottom. This is uh, repairing the joist, so I'm cutting it off so I can butt the new joist. I'll also show you how I kind of custom make a joist as well using uh, studs. So, here you go. Can you point to there? Okay, I'm going to change it from hammer drill to... This is seriously tough wood, man. Genuinely solid stuff, I've got to say. Impressive. I've created a series of drill holes um, I mean this is stubborn well solid and a half joist I gotta say I mean, this joist is so strong even my drill not getting through it but anyway, that's the idea. So I'm just alternating between saw and uh, yeah, it's not easy to come through that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work something out. That's it. Done. Oh. Alright guys. I used a drill, uh, I used a wood piece for it, that was weak, pathetic, then I, went, I resorted to the um, HSS piece, the metal piece, and that piece is fast appealing when it comes to cutting through, or drilling through the uh, uh, joist, solid joist, anyway, I've weakened it, I've drilled like, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 14 holes across, going from this end to that end, and going up as well, so I looked as much as I could. Now I'm going to resort to using my electric saw. And hopefully I'll cut it off. Yes, here we go. Floating up, but I don't want to take the rest to add additional support to carry the load. Um, yeah, man, it's this is hefty, but anyway, it's coming along, so yeah.